This is Pony Prepper Bill. Uh, this video might be offensive to some people. I don't know. Uh, pff, the craziness in the world. I have no idea what's going on in this world. Things have gotten so bad. If you don't believe in what I say and what I think and what I believe, then you should be eradicated. You should be shut off. You should be taken down. It's unbelievable the way things are going. Um, you know, climate change has, you know, the earth has gone through its changes every so often, so many years, millennial, whatever. It gets cold, it gets hot, it gets cold. It's normal, it happens. Just because it hasn't happened in your lifetime doesn't mean it, look what's happening. Going green, saving the planet, I just think it's funny how, well, it's funny, but it's it's also sad and pathetic that the same people that are saying, we need to save the planet, we need to go green, you know, renewable energy, or buying all these electric cars and all this stuff, it, it's good for the planet. When it's not, it's, everything is made out of plastic, everything. You know, years ago, the cars would rust, they'd rot, they'd go back into the ground. Now, these cars, you know, some of the metal will disintegrate and rust and go back into the earth, but most of it is all plastic. The wood is all fake laminated plastic bullshit. Years, millions of years from now when the aliens land and take over this freaking planet, uh, they're going to see the inside of our cars, the Teslas and, and trucks like my pickup truck. The plastic will still be here. They're going to look at this, it's, these, <laughs> this plastic and stuff will be around longer than this Sphinx and the pyramids have been here. Uh, the same people that are, we need to go green, you need to buy electric, you need to, when it takes like one and a half times more fossil fuel to build one of those vehicles than it does a, a, a regular car. So that is not going green. And the same people that are buying all these electric cars are the same ones that are buying cell phones every frickin' month. I got a free upgrade, I got a new phone, which is bad for the environment. All this plastic stuff. And, I mean, there's been articles on how many cell phones people throw out and where they go and the battery leakage and how bad it is for the environment. People don't care. They want that new, up-to-date phone, and you know, every year I got a free upgrade. Got to get this new phone. <sighs> it, it, it's part of the plan. Well, let's go green. Let's save the environment. But it's these same people that are buying shit on Amazon and the internet every day, every day. Package, package, package. Truck, 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 truck. That is not good for the environment. I'm sorry. It, if you're going to follow the science with global warming and climate change and we need to save the planet, you need to buy an electric vehicle, well, then you need to stop buying shit online. I I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings. If my family gets in the car and we go food shopping, uh, we buy our food, we'll stop and maybe we'll, we'll buy a couch or a coffee table or a lamp or whatever it is, y you know, I... I buy a part for my computer, I buy a part for the camera, I go out, that's one th tank of fuel, if that, one thing of fuel, we're all buying stuff, you have one box or one bag with a bunch of your stuff in it, no, we're going to buy stuff online, everything comes in its own box, if we go to the store, you get a whole bunch of shit, you put it in the back of your truck, maybe you don't even have a box, it just comes in the box it came in, But we're going to order shit online. Everything comes in its own box. We're destroying, you know, we're recycling trees and boxes and paper, which most of that's a scam. They don't recycle half the shit you throw away. Every day. They're, I'm saying, not, they're just starting to take like old shopping centers or an old mall and they're putting Amazon warehouses. These giant monstrosity evil looking buildings. Because you got to get stuff closer to the people. It, it's, 
I've seen so much farmland around here in New Jersey. Farmland that provided food. Local food. I mean, all kinds of food. They're selling. It's so hard to run a farm now. They're selling it to Amazon. And I see all this farmland just disappearing. And these giant, giant, giant six-city, like, block warehouses being put in the middle of nowhere. You have these tractor trailers from everywhere delivering stuff to these hubs. And then from there, they have three or four trucks to go out to deliver to this place. And then, you know, if you go online and you order like 10 things today from Amazon or wherever, it doesn't matter. You'll have 10 different packages delivered to your house. It could be 10 different vehicles, 10 different days. How is that better for the environment? Explain this to me. Okay, if you're going to follow the science with the global warming and we need to cut reduction, how is getting rid of farmland, building these giant warehouses, have 10 trucks come to my house instead of my one where we all go to the store and buy a bunch of shit? You're going to have all these vehicles coming to your house day after day after day after day after day. Sometimes we'll have four trucks come to my house, the neighbor's house. Four trucks. Amazon, FedEx. Amazon again, FedEx, UPS, that's going green, Th that's good for the environment. These trucks over and over, and how much fuel is that? I, I, I don't understand the concept of these freaking people. Going green, we've got to save the environment. I've seen people, we went to Target the other day, and I'm sitting in the car because I'm getting to the point where I hate traffic. I hate short traffic. I hate going into a store because I can't stand people. There's no common sense. Everyone just does whatever the hell they want. And riots are going to break out. And that's why, I mean, certain states are allowed to carry a gun, which I think is great. But where you can carry, like, uh, guns into Walmart and the stores, nah, I I'm not going there. I'm not going shopping where everybody is counting AR-15s and, you know, I'm not doing that. One person gets road rage or one person gets pissed off at somebody in line and now you got crossfire with machine gun fire. Military drills. Anyway, military planes for the last two weeks. It's been so hot, my computer crashed. I had to get my computer fixed. I'm in, tar uh, I'm in the parking lot of Target. My wife goes into Target, and this woman gets out of her car behind me, and she's walking through the parking lot with her cafe latte shit crapola, walking, and then just whips it. Half empty, just whips it, throws it, right in the parking lot, right by my truck. And I'm looking like, are you serious, you fat slob? I do what I want. Don't offend me. I can do what I want. Go, go to the store the other day, and another one. I come out of the store, I get my truck, and this girl pulls up alongside me. There's a trash can in front of my truck, in front of the building. And she rolls the window down, she looks, and she takes a clear trash bag full of shit and whips it out her window over the truck, and it hits the no parking sign or handicap thing. Broke all over, all over, all over the place. And she starts her truck and starts to leave. I'm like, she sees me, so she gets out. Looks at me, picks up, throws stuff in the trash. I'm like, she leaves. I get out and look. She picks some stuff up, but the big and the, just shit all over the ground. People do whatever they want. They do whatever they want. You know, a friend of mine said something like, well, what are you doing all these maps? I'm cleaning my truck out. We needed rope. He's tying stuff up. And I'm like, oh, I think I got a ratchet strap or rope in the back of my truck. And he's like, what are all these map books for? I'm like, well, in case shit ever happens, you don't need a map. And he's like, well, don't you have GPS? You know, I got a GPS on my phone. I'm like, I got GPS. I got that on my phone, too. He's like, well, what do you need maps for? In case your phones don't work? In case there's an EMP or something and your phone doesn't work or the GPS doesn't work? And you always get that. 
I saw a video where a guy was at a college talking to kids in college and asked what, on a compass, what do the four, and well, he didn't say it, the, the four points on a compass, what they stand for, north, south, east, and west. They didn't know. A couple of people actually asked, what's a compass? And I saw a news article talking about, you know, us old people, baby boomers, and you got to leave the younger generation alone. They're smarter than we are. You know, we got to have GPS and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, everything is on a cell phone now. You, you don't need a separate GPS. Cars have GPS now. And, you know, stop carrying, you know, all this. Oh, we're just too old. You know, we don't get the new technology like our grandparents didn't get the new stuff. And that's all well and good, but when the technology doesn't work these people don't know what to do i've seen it firsthand when the power goes out within an hour people are pissed off slamming shit because they can't get on TikTok and facebook that's like in an hour i'm sorry but a lot of these people don't I knew it was a lot of people, but the more I've seen and the more I see stuff on the news and stuff or posting shit, I've realized it's a lot, it's a lot worse than I thought. The people, I'm not saying everybody, but I, I would say like, I thought 75% of the people have no common sense and, and will perish in a big event. Uh, I've changed my mind. I've changed my perspective. I think it's closer to 90%. Uh, I remember during like Katrina and Sandy down here, power went out down the shore. And I, I mean, within like a day, people were looting, rioting, burning shit, stealing shit. And that was like the first day with no power. And I remember when I was helping the Red Cross and stuff, and the National Guard at one of them blocking a couple of roads. People going around my army truck. Another one. I'm parked in my army truck in three foot of water blocking so people don't go through there. People telling me to get the hell out of the way, you don't live here, giving me the finger, and going around me and getting stuck. And, you know, can you help me? No, um, that's not my job. And where we are today is so much worse than it was then. I, I, I really, I, I mean, it's sad, it, it's pathetic, but a lot of people... If they can't see what's going on now, I, I still see people driving these electric cars thinking it's the best thing in the world and that they're saving the planet. Uh, you know, uh, every two years buying a new plasma TV, this and buying a new LCD TV. You're saving the planet how? Like, I'm vegan. I went vegan. I'm like, you just walked in here with Chick-fil-A. You walked in here with McDonald's. Oh, well, I'm mostly vegan. But, like, at lunchtime, I still get my McDonald's. You're not vegan. You're not. You're not mostly vegan. You're just, you're not. I got, there's just so many things to do videos on. This would be, like, a 20-hour video. But, uh... I made a thing on the chickens, and I think chickens are probably one of the dumbest animals on the planet. Uh, how stupid do you think people are? I mean, I thought by now more people would wake up. I mean, this presidency and the Democratic Party has, what do you talk, good, evil, I've never seen so much bullshit with these people. 
these people in office now have destroyed this country worse than ever. Worse than ever. And people are so, this guy is great. This guy wants to be metal, but we should vote for him again. So yeah, the forest area down out of here, when they were closed for the pandemic, you know, everything, well, it was closed. You couldn't even come out here. But they had to have somebody in the office. And then when they opened everything back up again, people were going to the office to get the keys and get their paperwork for the campsite, trying to get key for their, uh, their cabins. They want to go up to the store to get, you know, firewood. Lights are off. Nobody's there. Come to find out, you know, the one guy had been here for years, but during the pandemic, you know, they just had somebody in the office just to be there. But when it opened back up, he ended up quitting because he couldn't adjust back to dealing with people and waiting on customers. I, I, I can't do this anymore. I talk to people, sell firewood, type on a computer and take your, re your reservations. I, 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 I can't adjust. But everybody adjusts to working at home and doing nothing, wanting more money. And you know how everybody's quitting their job? It's like, what the hell do they call it? <coughs> I forget. Everybody, it's the best thing in the world. Everybody's quitting their jobs and getting new jobs. And, well, come to find out a lot of people, they quit their job and the new job they got didn't really work out. And it's not what they thought. And now they don't know. They're in a job they don't like and they got to quit. And they, they can't go back to their other job. Blah. And uh, there's all these jobs. Everybody's hiring. Everybody, there's people quit, and there's millions of jobs out there, and nobody wants a job. So my wife is looking for a job, and my stepdaughter's looking for a job, putting all these applications in, no callbacks, no callbacks. We need workers for this. Oh, we need health care workers. We need this. And that's what they do. You call them up, and you do this on the Internet. We're going to have a, a call-in phone interview, and oh, they don't call uh, 20 messages, you're going back, oh, you come on, you know, I, they don't call back. You're overqualified, um, it's, well, you live too far, they find a reason. All these places are looking for people, but they're not hiring anybody. I think it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Everything we're taught on the internet, social media, the news, it's all bullshit. We're not in a recession. We're not in a recession. We're not. We're in a recession. I think we've been in a recession for a while. No shit. I'm at a loss for words. I really am. But I told my wife, I come to the realization, there's no reason for me to go, go shopping, go to the store, unless it's tractor supply to get stuff for the chickens. Uh, and at first it was Home Depot and Lowe's. I would go there too, but you know what? There's no reason for me to go there either. They're complete retards. They don't have anything. There's really no reason for me to go anywhere. Uh, you know, I could sell my truck and go green and not go nowhere. Have you ever gone camping? Out here, this is a state forest. You can camp in the forest, but it's primitive. You know, I mean, you have a tent, you can have a camper. There is no electric or water here, okay? You're in the middle of nowhere. This isn't Six Flags Great Adventure camping. You know, they don't, they don't have a water slide here, okay? There's no Ferris wheel. People are coming here asking, um, are there any wild animals here? Yeah. Like what? Snakes, birds, raccoons. You got raccoons? People demanded their money back. They camped here for a weekend. And they complained that it, it was hot, muggy, there was bugs. And nobody said anything about ticks. Uh, we're getting bit by flies, you know. People called up and wanted to know... Uh, if they had to pay for the water or something like that. And she's like, you can camp. There is, they have, like, between every other campsite or every six campsites, there's a well. You can get water from a well. They do have a dump station where you can dump your toilet if you have a camper. 
They have a bathroom, like men and women's bathroom and shower area. But they don't have that at every site. You don't have water and electric. And people are out here wanting to know why they don't have reception. Where's the Wi-Fi connection? Where's your Wi-Fi set up? And they have cabins out here too. I think one of them has, well, they got cabins and shelter. They have electric and water. But it said they didn't have a reception. They wanted to know what the password was or the code for the Wi-Fi. And they said there is no Wi-Fi. You don't have Wi-Fi out here? No, you're not getting YouTube and TikTok and shit out here. They were appalled. Then they asked what kind of food they had up at the office. And like, well, we got, a, you know, the Jiffy Pop popcorn for the microwave. They sell chocolate and, um, like, Hershey's and, what do you call it? Marshmallows to make s'mores. They thought it was like a concession stand up there. Oh, you know, my God. Cheeseburgers, French fries, hot dogs. And... No. Well, where's the closest place to eat? Got a Wawa a couple miles down the road. Well, what about a restaurant to get real food? 45 minutes. Oh, what are you kidding me? You're out here in a forest. You're not at like, uh, you know, one of the big name campgrounds where they got the swimming pools and you're in a state forest. I don't believe these freaking people. You come out here, there's I want my money back. There's bugs out here. Oh man. Every time I go out I get pissed off. I just see how stupid people are. Cutting people off there's no reason for me to go out. None. None. And maybe that's the plan. They don't want they want people to riot and they want you to stay home. Work from home, order from home. And this whole thing with uh, you know China. If if China stops shipping to the United States without China there's no Walmart. There is no Walmart. None. So this is just my thoughts on what I've seen um so I'm going to try and put this video up. I made a video that I tried editing when the computer crashed and I had some of that on the camera. So I was working on the chicken coop. Oh, maybe I'll put that up if I can get it to work. So this is Pony Prepper Bill and I will talk to you later.